our gracious and merciful almighty heavenly holy father we your children gather before you this morning in the blessed name of our lord and savior jesus christ and through his name we come before you believing that his promise his commandment that he gave matthew 18 specifically 20 or we can are uh, 18, 19, and 20. The Lord promised that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is already here. And so we do not need to ask you, Heavenly Father, to come because you are with us. All we need now, Heavenly Father, is that you would present to us the great depth, length, width, height, of what you've revealed to us in Holy Scripture, that we would know you, and at the same time, that you will help us because you are with us. Your presence is here, and that means that we can enjoy the fellowship, the strength, the power, and the ministry that you have allowed us to be part of. Heavenly Father, the only thing we also need is that you would increase our faith. Help us so that just as the your disciples ask, Lord, increase our faith. And that is what we need in this time, in this age, because our fathers, our mothers, they served you faithfully. And some of our mothers are here uh, in front of all of us. And we know what they believed, the faith they stood upon, allowed them to receive great miracles. Help us so that we will remember these testimonies that you've already given to us and also all the testimonies of all our pastors, all our leaders, all of those men and women in Holy Scripture, especially in the New Testament, who stood firm in spite of all the, uh, uh, the persecutions, the death threats they received. Heavenly Father, we gather before you again this morning, believing that since your word has already been confirmed, we ask that you will help us to see that your Holy Spirit is also with us, and at the same time that what we need is that we would grow spiritually and that you will open your word to us so that what we hear today will not be a new thing, or we should say it's a new thing because every day we hear your word, it is always new. Give us the wisdom that we need so that we may serve you in spirit and in truth. Those who are gathered here, Heavenly Father, that you will provide your heavenly blessings upon each member of uh, the house of faith. That those who are unable to join us, Heavenly Father, abide with them. Grant them all the spiritual blessings and the energy and the faith and especially the fellowship they need through your word, so that they, wherever they are, will be able to go over your word, review your word, study it, and also be blessed. We also ask that if there are any hindrances that is causing the fellowship uh, to convene, Heavenly Father, that you, on the authority of your word, and through the provision that you've already made, that we would be able to remove any of those hindrances and continue to serve you because of your promises that you will always be with us where two or three are gathered. At the same time, you said that whatever we bind here on earth, it is already bound in heaven, and that is given to us in Matthew 18, 18. And we ask that you will continue to help us so that we do not lose faith, we do not get scared about what the devil will do or has been doing, but that we will remain faithful to you, Heavenly Father. We commit ourselves into your hands, believing that as we have come before you, with you in our presence, we will be able to perform great miracles promised to all of those who will believe on your name and also surrender their lives to you. We thank you for these blessings and are believing that because you have already answered our prayers, because you are with us, we want to thank and praise and glorify your holy name for granting us the opportunity to hear your word today. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.